Welcome to this short demonstration of my new feed optimization program called Simplex Cow. It's a feed optimization program for dairy cows. And as you know, a dairy cow has a body weight and uh, she has milk production. And as you can see here, when I change these figures, the figures here, the lower and upper limits on different nutrients, change accordingly to Swedish recommendations. For example, look at the energy level here, 277. So I set this to 30 kilograms and 600 kilograms of body weight, and then you can see that it's changed to 214. So these are the feeds that we can choose from. And uh, this is the default uh, composition matrix, but you can add feeds by clicking plus to get a new empty feed here. And you can remove feeds by clicking the X button in the rightmost column. So then that food that we just that feed that we just added is gone. Uh, here you can change all the values also. If you know that your hay has an energy level of 9.8, you can change it to that. And these two columns are price. This is price per kilogram, and this is price per dry matter. These two columns are mirror of each other, so if I change this price to 2, you see that the value here changes. And if I change it to 32, then this goes back to 1. So it's sometimes it's convenient to use this column, uh, but the, the price that really goes into the equation and the uh, calculations is, is the dry matter price. So there's one more thing that I would like to show in the requirements tab. And this is limits on feeds. For example, now it's winter in Sweden, so pasture is uh, out of the question. So I set the max limit on pasture to, to zero. Then I click the optimization button here in the menu. And uh, I just want to show you one thing here, that uh, this also works on the cell phone. So, but the 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 menu bar looks slightly different. You have to tap this button to the right and then you can see the requirements tab. You can change values here just the way you want. And uh, it's pretty much the same, just the user face is uh, slightly different. There's one thing that is a bit different though here in, in the matrix tab and that is that uh, there is a plus sign here next to each feed that you can can expand and, and 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 see all the columns they they're folding folding down here uh, so so that's slightly different but uh, uh, in the optimization tab here uh, we get uh, a couple of tables and the graph at the end so let's look at this and, and try to interpret the results so this is how much of each ingredient that enters the mix. For example, seven kilograms of silage and seven, seven and a half kilograms of barley. Sugar beet uh, pulp silage in Swedish called Hopi Massa. And uh, this is rapeseed meal heated in Swedish called Expro and so on. So this is the levels of this in the, in the mix. And if we take, for example, silage here, you can see this, these two columns, uh, the lower and upper price limit, that tells us that within these boundaries, the level of silage will not change. But if the price decreases or increases with more than this, then the level of silage will change. And if you look at oats here, you can see that oats is not in the mix, but it has a margin of 6, or 0 0.06. And uh, that tells us that if the price goes down with this, then oats will enter the mix. So let's test that. We go to the matrix here, go down to the oats, and let's change this to mm, 0 0.99 for example. So slightly more than 6. That's just to take uh, rounding off errors into account. And we make a new optimization. Now we should see oats in the mix, and we do. So we, we, we got uh, almost a kilogram of oats. Okay, so here is the mix contains table. 
uh, here we can see the 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 for example the energy content in this mix and you can compare this level here uh, 214.4 with the requirements so and we had exactly 214.4 megajoule as our minimum limit it tells us that energy is probably something that is expensive Uh, all these values are guaranteed to be within the boundaries that we set up in the requirements. The first column here, the unit there is listed here. For example, EE, that is eater extract or fat. Uh, so there is 462 grams of fat in this ration. Or in percentage here, 2.55%. Um, uh, of fat in this ration. Some are listed in dry, gram per dry matter, and the weight of the of, of the of the mix is also listed in in percentage of the cow's body weight, and that's an indicator that uh, tells us if the cow will be able to eat this much or not. You have a concentration level, and uh, also the price very important. Here you can see in the third table the contribution uh, of each ingredient in the mix, uh, how much each feed or each ingredient contributes to the total. So for example, if you want to know which feed that has the most neutral detergent fiber in the, in the mix, you can sort it by clicking these arrows. And you can see here that this much uh, fiber comes from silage and the rest from barley, rapeseed meal and so on. And the graph in the end is another way of looking at this. So the blue part of this chart here is the, uh, is the crude protein and the gray is energy. And here you can also change, for example, you can see the weight um, now in gray and uh, and uh, for example magnesium so you can see that here for example mineral premix is very little amount but e but even though it's so little uh, very much of the magnesium comes from the mineral premix uh, so it's also a way of understanding where where the ing where the nutrients are coming from and uh, let's have a look at the crude protein you can actually show crude protein for both, uh, so it's really clear. And uh, this is interesting. Even though we often speak about protein feeds, like soybean meal and rapeseed meal heated, you can see that barley and silage uh, both <coughs> are also very important sources of protein. So this is a way of understanding understanding the ration and then get a feel of which feed that contribute with which nutrients. Okay, so let's say that you want to save these results and uh, maybe you made some adjustments, for example that you have raised the energy level that you want to 220. You make a new optimization and get a ration with 220 megajoules instead. So you can save this by clicking the file tab and then the computer suggests the file name but you can change this to whatever you like click the save data file save data to file button and uh, oh i did it twice uh, so we got two files now should only be one let me just erase one of them so these goes when, when you download these files by clicking that button they go to a folder called downloaded files on my computer well, this may vary on different computers and, and, and what kind of settings and what kind of browser you're using uh, also this is an HTML5 feature so it will probably only work in in recent versions of Chrome and Firefox at the moment but uh, as time goes on more and more browsers will probably add support for this so if we reload this program now, go back to the requirements, you can see that our energy level is now back at the original settings. 
Then I can click File, and I chose this file that I just downloaded from my downloaded files folder, and I load it, and uh, we get an information text here that tells us that it was loaded successfully. And we go back to the requirements, you can see that our settings that we had set ourselves are now back. So this is a way to save and use your settings later on at a later occasion. Okay, this was perhaps a bit much information, but most of the things that we talked about are listed here in text in the Help tab. So here you can read pretty much all about this. Okay, thank you for listening and happy optimization everybody. And uh, don't forget to say hello for, to your cows from me. Bye.